me. Get off of me. I'm sick of Hawaiian traffic girls. Get away. You take. Get away. What's wrong with him? I must have gotten a girl last night. No, pas folie. Nah. <laughs> this whole lifestyle down here is driving me nuts. Every year I come down it. Ow, 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 ow. Look at this bottle. I am the genie of Daytona Beach. You are granted three wishes. All right, number one, I don't want anyone to recognize me. Number two, I want to pay for my own stuff. And number three, I want a wife. Very well, your wishes are granted. I don't believe you, but that's cool anyways. Hey. Who the hell are you? No, on the whistle. Come no, on. Whistle, no. <laughs> what a horny bastard. You frustrated? <laughs> cool. This is insane. Ow! Hey. Oh, what's up? Oh. Ooh. Who the hell are you? Dude, I'm a celebrity, bro. Uh -huh. Dude, I'm Santa Claus. What a bro. Come on, man. If you don't believe me, look, I signed your shirt, right? What are you talking about? You didn't uh, sign my Ah, uh, cool. gonna be fun. It's chillin' with the whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chillin' with the Whistle. Now, here's your host, Holly Shore. be a killer show, man. We got snow coming up later. And former, a lucky, 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 lucky day, yeah. Boo, boo, doo, doo, now. Yeah, I know the song. But my first guest coming right now makes me look like nothing, man. You guys have seen him or her all week buzzing around. I don't know what it is. We're gonna figure it out right now. Keep it going for RuPaul. <laughs> Chance, Chance. <laughs> Girl, turn to the right. Girl. Come on, baby. All right, keep it going from RuPaul. I'm RuPaul. Here, sit down right here. Whoa, what are you? No, chill right there, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> hey, oh, man. hey, everybody. All right. Woo. <laughs> so you're RuPaul, and I'm RuPaul Lee. Oh, why? <laughs> We're kind of like the, uh, the Sonny and Cher of the 90s, huh? I love it. You look fierce. Your outfit is gorgeous. Give a big round of applause for the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. So, what, what are you? You're transsexual? I am a drag queen. Can I get an amen in here? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the guys are going, no, but I'd like to check, please. <laughs> no, that's great, because I've, you know, I look up to you a lot, and I've been, you know, I do a chick once in a while on my show, but you're, you've gone the distance, man. <laughs> don't you think she just went a little too far? But she doesn't, he doesn't care, right? I don't care. It's all about cool. fun, right, everybody? Yeah. It's so much fun. So you know? talk to me about the craze. A lot of people are, you see on different shows are transsexuals. Is that what you are? No, a transsexual is someone who is a man trapped in a woman's body. And you're a I'm a man. big old black man wearing women's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
that's right. the, you know, the new craze that you're talking about. A lot of kids come to my show and they dress in drag. It has nothing to do with a sexual fetish or anything like that. It's just a lot of fun. You know, during the 80s, mm -hmm. it was so bleak and dark with that whole Reagan stuff that the pendulum swung so far to the right. The pendulum. The pendulum. Or the it's going to come crashing all the way back to the left, baby. Uh -huh, okay? And I it's know. all about having fun and dressing your body and celebrating life and love. Yeah. Everybody say love. Everybody say love. Hey. Now drive that down the Florida turnpike with your bad self. Get out of here. <laughs> wow, man. So when did you decide to do this? How, how young were you? Well, I've been doing... Because I'm sure, like, your whole life, you, you, and you finally just snapped. <laughs> and you said, this is me, I don't care. <laughs> well, you know, it was actually about 11 years ago I started doing it professionally. But uh -huh. I confess, I was doing Revlon commercials in my mother's bedroom at five years old. You know, what? <laughs> you know what's wild is I used to... I dressed up when I was a young kid, I swear to God, as a girl, and my dad spanked me, and I liked Whoa. it. Yeah. Oh, you liked the spank? Yeah, I liked it. Here, spank me. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Spank me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. So what do I do? So you went the distance. What happened to the dong? Did you bail the dong? <laughs> you mean, what am I doing with my business? Yeah, what are you doing with your business? <laughs> You'll have to read all about that in my okay. book, The Ten Hundred Ways to Tuck Your Business in Under a Minute. Really? <laughs> so what do you suggest for me? Do you think I should go the... I mean, I still got hair on my chest. What do you do? Just put a tape it doesn't and matter. rip no, it off? No, it doesn't matter what you wear, baby. What Good matters Lord. is how you wear it, okay? All right, all right. See, let me show you how to Shantae real quick, okay? Okay. You, it's, it's all about attitude, okay? <laughs> this is attitude. One, Two. sachet, Shantae. Shantae, Shantae, Shantae. Can you do that, Miss Ru Rupali? Yeah, I can. Okay, come on, girl. Okay. Shantae, Shantae. Shante, Shante, Shante. <laughs> turn to the left. Now turn to the right. Sashay, Shante. Shante, Shante, Shante. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's it for RuPaul right now. We're going to come back and uh, we're going to have the royal mating, mating game. And also, Snow will be up later. So we'll see you guys in just a little. We're chilling with the whistle. Woo! Prince Charles wins a date, and Snow rocks the house when chilling with the wheeze continues. Yeah! Let me in, let me in. Hey, where are you going? Man? I'm going in right now. You gotta Who get back to the line, man, like everybody else. Oh, man, like the losers! Right, yeah. Yeah, in the back of the line! Oh, I'm normal! Oh. Yeah. Thank you. This is cool, man. We're at the end of the line. Cool. That's real, real cool, man. <laughs> it's great. Stoked. I've never sat in the back of the line, man. I rubbed the bottle, Jeannie popped out, he gave me a wish just to be a loser, just like you guys. Yeah, and I met this celebrity who wanted to be normal. What an idiot. Okay, here you go, ladies. Hey. You're welcome. Hi. Hi, and here you go. You mean I have to pay for this? Of course you have to pay for this. Oh, hey, buddy, here, I'll help no, you out. No, 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 Ben, no, Ben, Ben, hey, 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 it's on me. This has been the best day of my life. Where have you been? Who are you? I'm your wife, damn it. Oh. Mm. Well, if you're my wife, can we have sex? No, I'm your wife, not your lover. <laughs> cool. Welcome back to Chillin' with the Week. It's time for the Royal Mating Day. Thank you, thank you! And welcome to the Royal Mating Game, where we have three lovely ladies vying for a date with our very eligible bachelor. And now, let's meet those lovely ladies. Would you like taking long walks on the beach, listening to Mr. Big? You can find her reading the poetry of Ezra Pound. Please welcome Bachelorette number one. She hates rude people and smoking. Also rude people who smoke. She loves convertibles and Penny G. Please welcome Bachelorette number two. She loves to dress up, and her hero is J. Edgar Hoover. She has trouble finding shoes and underwear. But hey, who doesn't? Welcome to Bachelorette number three. Welcome, ladies! And now, let's meet our bachelor! Recently separated from his wife, 
This former naval aviator enjoys fishing, long walks on the moors, and delivering insanely dull speeches. His favorite show is this old house. Probably because he's going to own about ten of them when his mom kicks the old royal bucket. Please welcome our bachelor, Charles, Prince of Wales. Number one, what do you think of premarital sex? I love premarital sex if I'm having it with you. <laughs> Bachelorette number two, same question. I think that if your sex little driven libido tells you that it's okay, that it's quite all right. <laughs> Bachelorette number three, people say I have funny ears. What's the funniest part of your body and why? My feet. Because they hurting right about now, baby. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. I don't want to be Tampax floating at the top of laboratory water not going down. What don't you want to be? I don't want to be the loser of this contest because I would love to be your queen. Ooh. Good answer, good answer. Bachelorette number one. Mommy has to go away on many boring functions. Do you think that being a queen would be a drag? Oh, darling, not if you were my king. Bachelorette number three, same question. What did you say, honey? What, your mama what? <laughs> mama has to go away on many boring functions. Do you think that being a queen would be a drag? Being a queen is never a drag, honey. I have one thing to say to you. You better work me, baby. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Bachelorette number three. Someday <laughs> I will sit on the throne of England. As my queen, what would you want to sit on? I want to sit on your phone, you're baby. All right. Bachelorette number two. We recently had a fire in the castle. If you were helping us repair it, what tool would you like to work with and why? I think I would like to be a screwdriver so I could bolt you to the bed. Good answer. Good answer. Bachelor <laughs> Bachelorette number two. If I were a commoner and by chance we met, would you still be attracted to me? No, I don't think so. I think I like royalty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bachelorette number one. Same question. And uh, next question, all right. Bachelorette number three. If we went on holiday together, what form of colon colony would you want to visit and why? I would like to go to New York City so we can uh, so we can tear the roof off of the mother. Well, I'm sorry. Time's up. Who's the lucky bachelorette, Chuck? Well, I liked one. Which one should I pick? I like one, I like two, but it'll have to be bachelorette number three. Well, let's meet the girls you didn't pick. All right. Bachelorette number one is Michelle Bregman. <laughs> bachelorette number two is Miranda Music. Oh. Oh. Damn it. And now let's meet your dream oh, date. We're about to. She'd them. love to spend the oh. day at the castle rummaging through your mother's closet, what? trying on robes, what? wigs, and crowns. What? The little lady swears uh. she'll put the queen back into the Queen of England. Meet your date, RuPaul. Who? Uh, uh, uh. 
let's see where you two lucky kids will be going on your vacation. The romantic week at the fabulous Belfast Inn. Taking all the sights and sounds of Belfast, but just soaking the tranquility of Northern Ireland's finest hotel. Founded in 1880, rebuilt in 1971, and again after that last explosion. Oh, yay! Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! Get me away from you, you crazy... You can't! You can't! I'm going to Hey, don't you know you gotta be like a celebrity or a hot chick to get into this place, man? I'm going. What are you again? What are you doing? Let me in. You gotta wait like everybody else. You don't go on. Man. And I'll wait. Ah! <sighs> yeah, it's just they working out. There you go. I don't have any money. You better have some money, or else you're going to be doing dishes. Ben pay. Hey, buddy, I don't have any money. I was just love. Earl! Uh-uh. Reload. Uh -uh. I can't stand them. Earl. Are you the Earl that made the sandwiches? Where's that iron, boy? I got places to go. I'm trying as fast as I can. You want me to be too fast, Blue? That's it. I'm out of here. What do you think you're doing? You better come back here. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. You better come back here, boy. I own you. Jeannie! 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 Please! 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 Just come out! Please, can I, can I have my old life back? You asked for it. Sorry. I'm doing it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, let go of me. What are you doing? I'm jumping. I'm going to kill myself. What do you think I'm doing? You're the weeds. Everybody loves you, man. My kids love you. Do you know my name? Of course I do. Everybody knows you. The genie must have changed his mind. Never mind. Chilling with the Weeds live on stage all the way from Toronto, Canada with the informer, Snow. <laughs> all right, I want to give it up for Snow for being here and I bring out all the guests you saw today on Chilling with the Weeds. Kilmer hey. Godfrey, the girls, and RuPaul. Hey, yo, 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 come back here, man. Come here, man. Get your butt over here. Yeah. 